Unit 6, Book Cruise. Coming together around books is a little different than the previous five units. Instead of reading a choice book independently, your students will be organized into small groups called book crews. In their crew, students will read and study the same choice book. This unit has a total of 12 lessons. Early lessons focus on establishing book crew rules and expectations, as well as reading schedules. Later lessons help students develop and hone their skills for independently questioning, analyzing, and discussing their book. To prepare for teaching the unit, read over the entire unit overview. This has all of the information you need to understand the purpose of the unit, how long it'll take to teach, what you need to do to prepare, and the standards that you'll be covering. This unit has more prep than the previous units because this unit requires you to group your students into book crews prior to the start of the unit. The free sample lesson in the links below or in the additional resources tab on the product page of our website is Lesson 6, Welcoming Problems. Analyzing Conflict in Book Crews. You'll see up at the top is your list of materials. This lesson requires blank or colored sheets of paper, coloring supplies, dice, and two handouts. The paper, coloring supplies, and dice are not in bold, so that means that they are not included in this resource. The handouts, on the other hand, are both in bold text, which means that they are found immediately following the lesson. Their page numbers are listed here too, to help you find them. In the parentheses after the name of the handout, you'll see how many copies of the handout you'll need for each student. For each of these handouts and the paper, you only need one copy per book crew. Lastly, students will need their Talk It Up packet that they have been using and filling out when their crews meet to discuss their books. Finally, right before we dive into the lesson are the Common Core Anchor Standards. You'll notice that just the codes are listed here. If you want to know what the specific language of the standard is, just flip back to the standards alignment chart provided in the unit overview. Now we can get into the lesson. If you remember from the How to Use training video, the Connection section provides a greater context for why you are teaching this lesson. It is written just for you, but feel free to paraphrase it for your students. After reading the connection for this lesson, you'll learn that each book crew will be looking closer at the conflict in their novels and constructing posters that illustrate that conflict. As you look over the instruction modeling section, you may notice that it is written in a mix of plain and italicized text. Remember from the how to use training video, the plain text indicates the directions just for you, while the italicized text is teacher speak, which models what you should say to your students. In this lesson, students will recall the different types of conflict and how authors use conflict in a story to develop the plot and the characters. After the instruction modeling section, Unit 6 lessons are structured a little differently. Instead of a practice section, there are book crew times and crew task sections. During book crew time, students have an opportunity to meet in the crews and discuss their books. Then, during the crew task, each crew completes an activity that corresponds to the lesson. In this lesson, each crew creates a mini conflict poster following the instructions on the Boxing Out Conflict instructions sheet. Each crew's mini poster will identify and describe the conflict of their books. On the following pages, you'll find the included handouts for this lesson, all of which are specifically referred to in the lesson. First is the Roll and Remember handout for each crew to complete in the Instruction Modeling section. Next is the Boxing Out Conflict instruction sheet from the Crew Task section. Additional information about Reading Workshop Unit 6 can be found in the links below, or you can reach out to us here. If you did not watch the How to Use Reading Workshop for the Secondary Classroom, be sure to check that out for more information on all included Reading Workshop resources as well as more information on the structure and format of the units and lessons. 
Thank you for following along with the Reading Workshop for the Secondary Classroom Tutorials. We hope this information helps you get the most out of your new resource. If you have any questions regarding this or any Teacher's Discovery resource, please email us or call us and we'll be happy to assist. Or you can connect with other teachers like you in our Teacher's Lounge on Facebook groups.